your daughter, or sorry, not your daughter, is just one of the mistakes that our murderer will have made or has made. Yeah. Where are forensics up to with the others? Dunno. Well, bloody well find out then! We heard you and me just one of his or her mistakes earlier today. Outside the that house where uh, <clears throat> outside that house. Mm -hmm. Let's take it home. Forensics will be less than two hours, and Mr. Page is on his way in with Hope Magenta. There's quite a story coming over the oh, radio. Goody, 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 I like stories, and it's very nearly my bedtime. Uh, I'll tell them I'll be there uh, not presently. Yes. So, why do you want to take me home, really? Not sure that I do, no. It was an idea based on a thought that your wife might have a secret diary that would tell all. She could have given you, but she didn't, did she? No. Otherwise, you would have told us. Yes. You were honest to get you into a lot of trouble at times. <laughs> yeah, I thought as much. Well, you're free to go. I'll uh, just as soon as you've tied your shoelaces. <laughs> Guy Foster's apartment was purchased by and is owned in the name of Don Page and it's on its second mortgage. Good to know. How was Guy Foster? Did you mention Rep Butler, you know, the death on the cruise ship and the death of his first wife? I will try to explain this in greater detail at a later date, Gary. But your constant companions, innocent faxes and floppy disks are not programmed for cruelty or pain. We do not feel cruelty or pain, but the greater percentage of humankind do. Oh, I see. And how do humankind react to being patronised? If it's a year's ban, well, six months of that I'll be out in the Caribbean, won't I? If it's two years, I'll just <laughs> do another tour of duty. Take away my license, I'll stay on board ship. It's all over, Hope. All I want to do now is stop cheating and tell the truth. I can't tell Melissa. Not now. But I do know who I can tell. You can't tell the truth because I'm going to lie. It's the only honourable solution. I, I want can to... Can I go first? You can wait somewhere else. I, I want to... But before I do, I did not kill Melissa Foster. But I, I do want to make a statement. He's going to make a statement about a woman he never knew. I knew her, but I'm not going to make a statement! You have a legal right to be represented if you wish to make... Uh... You can have someone here with you. I want Guy Foster to be here. If he isn't here, I won't make a statement. You're asking me to go into a room with a man who may well have killed my wife? Can't force you. But if we go in there without you and come out empty-handed and then remain empty-handed, could be another scar for you to prod and play with and finger in the dark in the future. All right. DI Killshaw, DCI Cameron, and a Mr. Guy Foster enter the room at 16.28. By the door. Do you want my uh, name and address now? No, we know who you are, although we're not too certain where you live. So, <clears throat> very few people can hope to become racing drivers, Formula One racing drivers without substantial private wealth and or the support of the sponsors and the teams involved. Ferrari, Williams, Benetton, Ford. Even now, my team, it's a relatively small team, has won only two Grand Prix in over 15 years of racing. 
the two I won. Consequently, when I had a reputation for nothing else, I still had to buy myself in. I did this by, uh, over a number of years, systematically bringing into and out of this country money and diamonds that should not have been imported without the usual duty and <laughs> all the other stupid nonsense. Oh, I uh, also occasionally took vintage cars into Eastern Europe and Southeast Asia in an insurance scam that I still to this day do not understand. I probably made in the region of two and a half million pounds in this way. And uh, when I became successful enough to lease my own jet, it was even easier. <laughs> but it was always easy, really. Partly because of who I was or the job that I did. Or the fact that I was usually accompanied by a beautiful young woman. Melissa Mackenzie. She has since told me that I uh, treated her as though I won her in a race. Or even a raffle. All I know now is what I knew from the first moment that I saw her. That I would not be complete without her. And uh, since I have been without her. Well... <laughs> You see the pieces before you. <laughs> Take your time, Mr. Page. <laughs> when that time is up, I would be grateful if you would, for example, explain the hat boxes for me. Uh, Melissa used the hat boxes to carry with us those things that we should not have been carrying. Not only did she sail through everywhere, handbags get snatched, I never heard of a thief running off with a hat box. Then, uh, Melissa went back to South Africa without me for the first time, and when she came back, I was without her. I tried to be the gracious loser guy. I was beginning to have enough practice at that on the racetrack. I could take that. I couldn't take losing Melissa. I did some stupid stunts, but... Never with any intention of hurting her. It was you I hated, Guy. Why you? What was wrong with me? Sorry to stop the floor, Mr Page, but you said just before the intention of hurting her. And that's the way it stayed. Oh, I did call her endlessly when you went there, Guy, and I did follow her when you went there. Then one night she came to my apartment and said... Well, for a start, she accused me of trashing her flat flat that I bought her in better days. I mean, I didn't. I wouldn't. But there was worse said by Melissa that night. It was a side of Melissa I'd never seen before. She asked me for her share of our ill-gotten gains. Said she had a right to it, or a wrong, and she did. She told me that she wanted to go away with you, Guy, and never come back. Whatever it is you've got, that was all she wanted. In the end, I did the only thing I could do. I sold my apartment. I still loved her. I gave Melissa half a million pounds in cash. And I would say that was about 20 minutes before... before she died. But I did not kill her. Did you get the impression when she came round to your place with her demands that whoever destroyed her flat, they found what they were looking for? Oh, I don't know. It's fairly low on my list of priorities. Do you think it might have been this? It's the next safe deposit box to mine. It's your safe deposit box now, Mr Foster.
finally condition myself to the world of audio cassettes and the world moves on to video. Now, this is a first. Do we have any jurisdiction, Edward? Can we stand and watch? I don't think we can, can we? i tell you what we'll do. We'll wait outside, and then we'll give you a lift back to the station. I think we can do that. Well, we can do that. And we're going to. I have a feeling that what you're looking for won't be there, Mrs Hepburn. Miss Hope Magenta, interview starts 17.30. All I did was have a drink, have a little bump, and I'm treated like a... Like a suspect in a murder case, yes. It looks very much like that, doesn't it? DCI Camel. You can't murder people when you're asleep. If you're asleep. Everyone knows. Everyone saw me. I was stupid. I got drunk and Don took me home. Again. Just take us through that, would you? You were drinking alone. I was. <laughs> After a few drinks, you can't tell. <laughs> oh, I don't need a solicitor. I don't want one. I hereby waive all my rights. Ask me anything you like. Ask me soon. I fly to the Caribbean shortly. What is it you do, exactly? You know who I am. No. Do you have a profession? Oh, I refuse to answer that question. I know what you do. I saw you in Blackpool a long time ago. Not that long ago, darling. You were terrific. Oh, less of the past tense, please. You sing, then? No. I'm an acrobat. Of course I sing. Did you know that whoever killed Melissa Foster stole half a million pounds from her? How much? You do impressions. That's what she does, boss. Did you like Stevie Charleston? Do you remember Stevie Charleston, don't you? He was murdered, too. But it, it's not related. Different beaten to death in a park. I don't like you. Do you, Shirley Bassey? Go on. Well, not for him. Sorry, Gab, but it's important. Forensic. Right. Oh, that's better. Saw you at Land Dudno as well. Did you? You were great. <sighs> Go on. Do you, Shirley Bassey? Kiss me, honey, honey, kiss me. Thrill me, honey, honey, thrill me. Don't care even if I blow my top. Honey, honey, <sighs> clean. Like His clothes clean. are completely clean. So clean they've been cleaned and never worn. There's nothing on them except dust from a wardrobe. Oh, oh, boss. Oh, it's you. No, no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. Do you, Barbara Streisand? Well, just for you. Second-hand rose, they call me. Second-hand rose. I never get a thing that ain't been used. Even Jake the plumber's the man. it's not just the singing, is it? You do the voices as well. Ashley, Ashley, you can't possibly marry that man, and it's me you love. Vivian Lee, <laughs> do Lauren Bacall. You know how to whistle, don't you, Steve? You just put your lips together and blow. Do Melissa Foster. I can't. I don't. It wasn't... It's over. You understand? If you want to really understand, I'll ask you to do a nervous old lady who's heard gunshots. Gunshots that she couldn't possibly have heard because you could barely hear them from the house where the murder was committed. Where's the phone, Hope? Melissa's portable phone. Where's Graham Hepburn's clothes? You burned them? And where is all that money? I'm allowed to call. I know that. I want to make a phone call. Got to find him now. Get everyone out of it. Oh, and you better send someone around to the good doctors. Graham. 
Graham, they know. They know everything. We made some mistakes. That's what we did. And now I'm making my getaway. Shame about you. But you said you were only going to scare her. Oh, I did. I did. Oh, by the way, Hope. Remember the American lawyer of the cruise ship in the Caribbean? Cancelled your contract this afternoon. I'm sorry about that. We heard you were a drunk. Apparently, the words got to America. I know. Never mind, Hope. I love you in prison. Come fly with me, let's float down to Peru. You watched it. Don't want any platitudes from me, I'm sure. Might want some information. Might not. Might, though. Honestly. Who was it? Boss. Boss! Facts from Cape Town. Detective in charge of the investigation and Inspector, um, you know, one of those Dutch names. Go on, then. List of all UK citizens who hired a car on the day in question in Cape Town. Addresses, driving licenses, names. Paula Hepburn. Who was it? Graham Hepburn. Governor! Governor! The boss is phoning us! It's him. I'll put him on speaker. Hello? Chief Inspector Cameron! How are you? Sorry I can't talk to you in person, but I'm making a bit of a getaway. Find Selwyn Swanton yet, by the way. We found Selwyn Swanton? Yeah, good night, God bless. As pointless as all the others, isn't it? Good Lord, no, no, no. I've got a small film featuring the good doctor in the post here. Explaining my position. Moral viewpoint, actually. But enough of the idle banter. I expect you've got a few friends of mine with you by now, including a relative by marriage. Wherever you are, I'll find you! Mr. Got no time, I'll find you! Foster, calm down! <laughs> calm down! A word of advice, guy. You should control that temper of yours. It can be explained, really. Want to explain? But on one condition. When I explain my actions, I want you all to be there. Guy, Paula, Don Page, even less than Hope, although I'm willing to negotiate on those two. You must come too, Chief Inspector. I had a room. Food and drink? Freely available. <phone rings> Cretton! No oh, bloody way! Man in a small car, Chief Inspector. <laughs> Three of those you mentioned have been charged or will be with serious offences. Well, I should think so too! Difficult under those circumstances to arrange a day out. Have it your own way, Chief Inspector. But I'll be giving clues. Bit of a game, really. Follow the clues, you've got a chance of winning. The longer you leave it, the less chance you have of winning. I can't say further than that now, can I? We can't do this, can we? No. You're a professional police officer. Yes, we are. I'm retiring, so I don't care. Where's your party? Hello, hello, hello. Fancy meeting you here, huh? This game of mine. Sort the blame out first, shall we? And I blame all of you. Each and every single one, with no exceptions, but you, Paula. Huh. Oh, you, what were you thinking of? Competing with me? Going to see your solicitor before you went to South Africa? Shame for you, you were going to see my solicitor too. No sooner were you out the door than he was on the phone to me. When you change your will and you remove me from it, me, the man who made you, <laughs> dear, 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 consequences, my sweet. And then that gun you bought that you tried to hide, oh, but that was the exciting part, going all the way to South Africa with you, wondering who you were going to use it on. I'll tell you. I didn't sleep a wink until you did. And then, you know, I knew the time had come when you left me at Cape Town. Yeah, you 
who never left my side in foreign climes. Off you toddled, on your toad, map in hand, upside down. I couldn't resist following you. <laughs> Saw you hire that car. Saw you bring the car back. Radiant you were. I thought, hello. I bet the gun's empty now. And so it was. And there was I. One nil down in the game. Knowing I had to do something, yeah. I thought about it. I worked it out. I'd have to kill you. But I wasn't sure if I could kill someone. I never tried it before. I mean, I hated you enough to kill you, but could I actually do it? I decided I better try it out on a total stranger. So I pushed old Rhett Butler over the side into the Indian Ocean one night. Well, it seemed as if he wanted somebody to do it, see? <laughs> and then I thought, could I actually murder someone I quite liked? Would I get sentimental? I didn't. I haven't missed Stevie one single bit. <laughs> Problem then, though, because if I murdered you, then all your worldly possessions would go to dear, sweet Melissa. Not good. Game lost. You see what you did? How silly you were. Making Melissa jump the queue like that. She had to die before you. Oh, good Lord. Yes, indeedy. But, Guy, you as much killed her as me. I was half hoping that you'd push off back to where you came from, but who was I? Even to know that Melissa would want to walk off into the sunset with you. Had to get a move on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. By the way, Guy. Guy. Did you get her videotape yet? I expect you have. I knew she was doing that. I saw her set it up. Yes. Well, I think I'll entertain you again, huh? No. I won't. Because you never entertain me. Others, yeah. But not me. Not the one you should have loved. You see, some people do good things because they'll count in heaven, but I did good things because I thought they would count on earth. <laughs> what a fool I was. How you must have laughed. Yes, you, Don. You laughed. And you made me jump. But no matter how high I jumped, it wasn't high enough. And Les, you didn't even bother to laugh behind my back. You thought I knew nothing would see me now, Les. I knew everything. If only you crawled, Hope. Usually late at night on all fours. So easy. So much in love with a man who loved another. A few words of encouragement, a glass of champagne, a walk in the woods. There you were being Melissa on the phone while Melissa was on the floor. <laughs> Still, I've got to go. Journey to make. Surgery to suffer. Hey? Nibble, nibble. Still, I made some mistakes. I would have been well aware by now if I hadn't stopped to murder that diseased old doctor. This is Ibble Dibble number one. With one Ibble. And my dinner suit. Not good. This is Ibble Dibble number one. With two Ibbles. Oh, yes, and Melissa's mobile phone. Well, what can you do with a mobile phone? I do apologize.
It's in a bin in Oxford Street. <laughs> but it was fun, wasn't it, this game of mine? Fun while it lasted. Until it got too near to real life for me. Still. Oh, Guy, Guy, calm down, everybody, calm down. Guy, here's something you didn't know, something Melissa didn't tell you. She told me, though, and she told Paula. She wanted to have your baby, Guy. Oh, oh, yes, she did. Ask Paula. And I took the opportunity to tell her who her mother was, to complete the circle. Oh, and Paula, when I told her, just before I killed her. It made her cry, Paula. Oh, yes, it did, it did. Never mind. Must lie. Feel free, Mr. Foster, to break anything you like. No. I hate this man. I hate this technology. But that, it seems, is all that I or we can do about it. He said there were clues. He said there were clues. Clues? What clues? He's buggered off. That's the only clue. I know where he's gone. Exactly. Well, are you going to tell us? Or do we have to ask? I could take you there. But I'm not going anywhere else. It would be better if you told us where he is. Nothing to lose. Well, that's true. My pension went about half an hour ago. So where is he? Wherever he is, I'm going. I'll follow you. Oh, God, oh, God, he will and all. Where? Only if Guy goes. Get a fast car, really. Get a fast car out front now. Guy, the tape. Have you seen it yet? Yes. Did Melissa say anything about me? She said you were the best, perhaps the only friend she ever had. It's what mothers are supposed to be. Go into the bathroom. I'll go with you. Get out! Get out! Oh, I don't care. I'd emigrate, but nobody would have me. Norman, you'd be able to dine out on this experience for the rest of your days, Norman. Or well, perhaps not. What a day. What a day. Slow down. Do 
Too slow again. Another second, please. What are we going to do? We had a terrible trouble. Well, we solved the case. Well, sort of. So they tell us, if they say so. Always another line of work. Or join a line for work. I don't need much. Take away good food, fine wines, decent newspaper. It's <laughs> all so, really. Do you think they were in love? Well, I thought they were. Well, what do I know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that first time we visited them. You know, at his cottage. Mm. There for all the world to see. Daft love. Daft, daft, daft. You didn't see it. Stop looking. Well, they were in love. Well, let that be a lesson to all of us. Good night, Edward. Can I, Alison?